Are you foolish? Can it be undone? Oh, Dionysa! Such a piece of slaughter the sun and moon ne'er looked upon. If I were chief lord of all this spacious world, I'd give it to undo the deed. A lady, much less in blood than virtue, yet a princess to equal any single crown on the earth. Oh, villain Leonine, whom thou hast poisoned too. If thou hadst drunk to him, there'd been a kindness becoming well thy face. What canst thou say? What noble Pericles shall demand his child? That she is dead. She died at night. I will say it is so. Who can cross it? Unless you play the pious innocent and cry out she died by foul play. Oh, go to! Well, well. Of all the faults beneath the heavens, the gods do like this worst. Be one of those that thinks the petty winds of Tarsus will fly hence and open this to Pericles. I do shame to think of what a noble strain you are and of how coward a spirit. <coughs> Yet none does know but you how she came dead. Or none can know. Leo Nine being gone. She did disdain my child and stood between her and her fortunes. <clears throat> None would look on her but cast their gazes on Marina's face whilst ours was blurted out. It pierced me through and though you call my course unnatural, you not your child well loving. Yet I find it greets me as an enterprise of kindness performed to your soul, daughter. And heavens forgive it! <laughs> and as for Pericles, what should he say? We wept after her hearse, and yet we mourn. Her monument is almost finished. Her epitaphs in glittering golden characters express a general praise to her and care in us at whose expense it is done. Thou art like the harpy, which to betray doth with thine angel's face seize with thine eagle's talons. <laughs> and you are like one that superstitiously doth swear to the gods that winter kills the flies. Ah. But yet, I know you'll do as I advise. <laughs> uh.